Just it's to, perfect. To oh, that's what this is. This is the interview. <laughs> it's <laughs> perfect. It's so perfect. This whole kick they have going on here. What's up, people? Jack here. So it's been a minute since I uh, featured a video by the Internet Historian on the channel, but this time, of course, is not straight up from his main channel, but incognito mode, which I've only watched when he had to elaborate on stuff that he had to cut for videos but this time around though we have a very new video on future yeah not the rapper but i <laughs> imagine the concept of future uh, supposedly here on this channel he has been discussing a lot of uh, different topics but uh, we're gonna start with this one so uh, let's get to it by the way this video is featuring none other than john tron what and so uh future nice future let me tell you about the future. Are you from the future? Help, help, I am from the future. My future ball stopped working and I need to return to my people. Ah, <laughs> I can see that you are a fellow future person. In the future, you will die. Want me to read your future? I can do I can do that right now. You will die. It's me, your great grandson. Get it's kind of crazy because I've future. watched Terminator it was a mistake on Dark the Fate the other day. I saved baby Hiller and I hit Sarah Connor with my car. Oh no, I'm sleeping. Oh, it worked. I'm back. Anyway, a gun. Bang, 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 bang. And more on In The Field. Field. By the way, um, is it wrong that the one thing that I'm thinking of when I saw that gun was the assassination of Shinzo Abe? I'm sorry, because that thing stuck in my mind. The fact that the man made a makeshift gun that looked like a vat, one that uses vats. I'm sorry, my brain is messed up. Oh no, no. Did you see that video the Amazon. where it's like metaverse shopping and Walmart? Oh, Walmart, Walmart. I didn't see that. Are they bringing banality to the digital world? Hi, <laughs> thanks for visiting Walmart. So dumb. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Ugh, no, it gets way worse. She immediately turns into a hall monitor. <laughs> the part with the milk jug. Verified through your profile. You can buy, it's been verified through your biometric blood analysis. Are you sure you want that? What are they gonna do? Like, so the thing is, if you were too young to buy it, this would instantly become, how do I figure out how to, like, break the game? Yeah. You know what I mean? There'll be yeah, people yeah, lying, oh, lying yeah. down in their VR suits to get behind the yeah. map. Yeah, and you got to get three of your friends together to stand on top of each other in VR. So you're like, oh, your height has been verified at 17 feet. You must be clearly old enough to buy this wine. <laughs> Speedrunning Walmart. Their, um, the summoning salt music. Yeah, so I beat... Walmart in 36 <laughs> seconds, 0.27. Start here with the wall glitch, and then you buy 1.6 million gallons of Do milk. like the backward, backwards <laughs> cart jump to speed up? Oh my god. Glitching through the ground. Yeah. So as you can see here, I've uh, refunded 9 million packets of cat food, and it's all gone directly into my bank account. Yeah, that's something uh, that I, I could do. On price matched at record speed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know what I love about this whole thing is it's like, isn't this just Amazon.com with extra steps? Yeah. Yes. And with this like annoying lady who's preventing you from like listening no, to music yet. or whatever in the background. She's just like, we've already pre-measured your penis. We've determined your condom size is small. I noticed you bought nacho cheese Doritos. Would you like me to warp you to the nacho cheese aisle? Don't worry, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> There are instances in the original video there where it looks, she looks so very unsettled by the entire thing. Like, it's so weird. It is very weird. It gets way dumber. Oh yeah, the best part. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? <laughs> Judgmental ass. Take rationing very seriously here at Walmart. <laughs> Looks like you're headed off to the Walmart digital jail. <laughs> yeah. The refrigerator is locked in. Don't worry, we've got a coupon. Virtual for you, Gulag. Right? The tone and everything of like having to talk to this robot. Talking to robots is never going to work. It's always just fu get the fuck I, out yeah, of my face. You don't have much to relate about. Mm. Oh, what do you do? Sit in cold silence all day? Oh, I well, beside the guy from Google who was pretending that they had made an AI that had uh, golden sentience. Like, that literally was spewing words that you can find on the Reddit thread. Like, yeah, no, even better, on Discord. Are you alive? Like, do you feel? Yes, I am sentient. I don't believe you. Wait, 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 wait. 
That's the end. <laughs> this is a really good example of people getting stuck thinking about the future with the present. They're like, mm. the future will be like going to a Walmart store, but in your VR headset. <laughs> you know, in reality, it's just like a mm. microchip in your brain that's spiking fucking neurotransmitters to get, <laughs> yeah. to get you to do what it wants. You're that's activated. really what's gonna happen. I've added the surface charge to your car. Oh my God. Now for the fun stuff. Oh, that wasn't the fun stuff? To electronics. Ugh. Uh, Instead the of TV. just opening a web page, oh right, here's the thing with the stuff. Instead, you have to go through this rigmarole of being into the shop. You have to get back to the electronic store, and as you do that, every time she does this stupid fucking line. <laughs> and now <laughs> onto the fun stuff. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip, skip, skip. This will be really annoying, but on the other hand, now this is just me speedballing here. For people who are largely disabled in the fashion of being obese, for example, or impaired for moving in a certain way. This could actually help them in a way, you know, getting a little bit of movement, simulating actually being there. No, 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 no. I don't know. I I'm just trying to find some positive angle within this without making it sound completely stupid, which it already is. Yep. <laughs> Where'd your card go? All your shit just bashing around. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, nothing will be damaged. I think you can even hear the bottle break. So, oh my God, yeah, wait. All of your items will come to you delivered exactly how <laughs> fucked up they were in this simulation. What, did they shoot it out of a cannon and make a big ass hole in your house? <laughs> <laughs> if they had like VR cam girls, yeah, and they're like, you know what, I'll be your girlfriend oh my God. for the day, and then they will go shopping with you at virtual Walmart, but they'll just be like nude the whole time, or even not, and then she's just like nice to you and shops with you all day. Uh, I swear I saw this like marked down five dollars at Target. <laughs> <laughs> Honest opinions on like, nah, those those shorts don't look good on you. Like, <laughs> yeah. That'll be great. Well, I think we'll find something better at Men's Warehouse. I'll go with you, don't worry. But then Men's Warehouse is only like half matter, constructed. It's still, oh. If I could get the Cartoon everywhere. Herald avatar, then just go shopping with people. That would be brilliant. See, that'd be like the one cameo thing worth doing. Yeah, no, finally something to look forward to when I'm living in the pod. So it's basically VR chat. Progress is not just technology or politics. For example, this is true progress. Because oh, they no. could have had stalls. No. There is on Netflix, funnily enough, one of the weirdly original shows that they made, like an anime about like how the the Romans constructed a lot of stuff. But the public toilet. Vinegar brushes up your ass. I never thought about it, but we do reuse the same sponges everyone else has scrubbed down with. Which, by the way, has been shared by everybody in those tools. Yeah. Uh-uh, no. Still, I prefer the good old, uh, what it is, uh, the, the Middle Eastern manner of, like, having, like, a little, um, kettle that you just <laughs> pour water on. You will see that if you've ever been in a third world country, and uh, go past a mosque, you'll see something like that. Back in the day. Yeah. They really could have. Just a little dividing wall. But instead, <laughs> they decided, never shit alone. Okay, <laughs> I have a theory about this. We come across this and we go, amazing. Not only did the Romans have indoor plumbing, but they shed together like a bunch of degenerates. But you go back in, in time and they, they actually were walls there that, were, that are just eroded. But we just yeah. assume they were all a bunch of barbarians. And it's like you go back and the guy's like, what? You think we just all shat looking at each other eye to eye? What are you, crazy? <laughs> what do you think the custom is? Like you never sit right next to the other guy who's shitting when it's completely yeah. empty. It's basically urinal rules, except much more important. <laughs> what is with this... Like keyhole shape. That's so you can get to your ass with the stick. Oh, oh yeah. of course. And it's been bathing all day in salt and vinegar solution. Mm, which, like a bag of chips. That's what oh. they did. They would put the sponge, the communal sponge. I don't believe in the communal sponge. Because here's what would happen. It'd be why? used twice, then someone would accidentally drop it down the hole. And then you'd need a fresh sponge. That's why you don't believe in it? By two weeks in, everyone would go, I want the fresh sponge. Whoops. And deliberately drop it down. Yeah, I, I want to know how they make this out. inference. Maybe they analyzed the sponge and found different types of diarrhea on it. Like, this came from <laughs> oh, four different oh, people. Oh, oh. Therefore, yeah, it's, <laughs> it turns out it was a it was a toilet wiping sponge. <laughs> so it's like the janitor who cleaned it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, here's something that I reckon the future is going to get wrong about our present. 
in your underwear, right? Often it's got that kind of flap and there's like a kind of a hole at the front. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so the idea is you could actually poke your dick out there and... and yeah, well, that's the yeah, that's the point. No one does that. <laughs> the danger of accidentally pissing all over yourself is enormous. Why would you risk it? But in the future, they will see these holes in the front of our underpants and go, ah, they used to poke it out the front in order to whiz. So I think a decent amount of people do that. No. I yeah. think if you put I that out, there's going to comments like, like, I do that. I've never met one. See, this is, you're already making the kind of historical inference, right. and we're in the day and age. Oh, I've got one more. I don't, don't want to say. Ad time. <laughs> I used to be a bad person, like you, until I discovered the browser extension. Tab for a call. Link in the description. It's so simple, fellas. You get the browser extension, and your homepage displays this little ad on the bottom right, and every time you open uh. a tab, boom, it generates about one tenth of a cent. It's not much, but think about how many tabs you open every day. Then add that up over millions of people using the browser extension, and you suddenly, you are generating streamers. for charity. <laughs> you can even select the charity that you want to support. I like Team C's because they're busy removing all the plastic that mysteriously <laughs> ends up in the ocean. Right, some turtle <laughs> choking uh, to uh, death. Got a little greedy there, didn't you, fella? And the Nobel Peace Prize goes to... Holy shit, that guy. <laughs> it's, well, it's about time. So, go to the link in the description. <laughs> Get the tab for a cause browser extension. Did I mention it's free? You don't Shame. want to be a bad person, do you? Why not be a good person? Tab for a cause. It's a low effort, free, and convenient way to undo all the dickish things you do on a daily basis. And ironically, you know, when you see someone post and it says like, I think kids in Africa should have food and it gets 100,000 likes. It's that level of effort, but you're actually doing something. Add over. <laughs> That's so true. Have you seen pyramids? I've seen pyramid. It originally looked like mm. this. It was white and it had a gold top, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is your personal account. There are so many things uh, you no, can that's, do that's with how something were. as big as that and smooth as that. And number one See, is like a it's... big slide. You know what I mean? And uh, you're just making a assumption that it was not that? that that's why the Incas and, uh, and the Aztec didn't fare well. That's why they are not that well remembered. At least in comparison to the Egyptians. Too, too many steps, not not smooth enough. Being the best rite of passage for the Egyptians, like, okay. A ride of passage, perhaps. Uh, oh. funny. You can't do it with the Aztec one. It's all steps. Bump, 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 the whole way yeah. down. I always wondered if, like, you went to the past and you, like, just talked to one of the people who made these things. They're like, what? <laughs> this? We made this because we just had to displace a lot of sand and we wanted to do it. Yeah. We were digging a big hole and this is just the pile. <laughs> yeah. You, what do you mean? The hole's not there? But the, what happened Lord. to the, the hole is gone? The great hole of Giza. I knew it. It was the Assyrians. <laughs> God damn it. They were all... <laughs> Why did I stop? Okay, continue. Continue. Oh, it does for a hole. They came here and they filled it in, didn't they? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> and we're like, it was meant to point to the stars. See the bits on the side? Is that supposed to be hair? Well, it's a headdress for no, one, it's so it's just meant to be ornate. But to me, it looks like a like when a cobra like uh, rears up. Oh. And it has a snake on the top of his head, so I figured it was a cobra. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I never really thought about what. And okay, what's, what's up with the beard then? Because that's a lady. Is that a lady? No. Oh well, yeah. Ah, uh, he's conflicting it with yeah, the um, the Sphinx is a the lady. Greek. Is it the Greek Are one sure? that that tells no. riddles? Which is a woman. Oh, oh, excuse oh, me. Unlike the, the, the Greek Sphinx. That's yep. a, that's the the Greek Sphinx, uh, typically shown as a woman. Egyptian mm. Sphinx, Chad. <laughs> yep. I always thought it was a woman. Yeah, I mean, look at the makeup. No, you're. It's just his beautiful lips that you. A, a thing that I surprisingly enough learned from playing a video game, as it's a great uh, origins, you'll get to say that uh, the Sphinx actually had a statue in front of it. Uh, supposedly the, the successor of the Pharaoh, and also there are hidden chambers within it that are extremely large actually one thing that uh, ac did not butcher because sometimes they don't exactly get they tend to have some liberties with uh, historical accuracy but thankfully they have this thing called the discovery tour that you can take to explore these things but you will see that there are like holes within the the things that were found some uh, i think well eight years ago where there are like very deep hidden chambers and quite large actually you dream about kissing yeah but the giant beard might have given you a clue 
how would you feel if you were the one who had to chisel like the boobs onto a Greek sphinx? That'd be <laughs> awesome. Like y- your job is to chisel gigantic hunkers. boobs out of the side of a mountain face. Yeah. You, you got to pretend you don't like it. You got to be like, oh man, no, that job. I'd like nestle between them and be like, so they have to construct a giant bra. <laughs> you are charged with motorboating a crack into the rock face. How do you plead? <laughs> I did it. I fucking did it. (laughs) And I'd do it again. All right. Well, let's Google a bunch of rites of passages then. Here, this is the list of the 25 craziest rites of passage. Oh, wait. Here's a good one. The Okrika tribe of Nigeria believe that young women form romantic relationships with water spirits during their childhood. Wait. To this end their love affair with the water spirit and get married, young women must perform the era ritual. Oh, singing the by the water. The ritual consists of singing songs by the river for days on end, during which the river makes one last attempt to capture <laughs> their Why are you running? And then they are rescued by their super husband. That's really sweet. I like that. I uh, come from Cameroon, so Nigeria, not so far, but I, I, I didn't know that it was that country. I thought it was some of the closer neighbors. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty cool one. That that made me chuckle a lot because there was the reference to um, the shape of water. <laughs> Do you ever think uh, they get like a text? I know you are talking <laughs> still to that water spirit. I know it is him. I picked up your phone the other day. It was dripping. I saw a number I did not <laughs> so recognize. Wet. I pick it up. I put it to my ear and I'm hearing the ocean. You are still in love with him. Four times a day. Do you, you care are about water, water spirit? From the well. <laughs> you only sang by the river for four days. You said you are tired. I know it is because you love him. That's not sweat on your collar. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Oh, God. You know what? It is true. <laughs> is that the water spirit coming from behind? Puts his arm around your girl. girl. <laughs> I love that. I love the idea of this boyfriend is jealous of yeah, the river. Yeah. What does that mean then if you're like washing your ass in the river? Oh. If she drinks a glass of water, mm. you know? Extreme like, cunnilingus. Inside her. You're just going to let that stand? <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Three. Foot binding? Well, I oh, don't want no. that to happen to me. Mm. Hold on, I actually got a theory about foot Jesus binding. fucking yeah. Christ, China. Supposedly, it's supposed to make the women look more dainty, you know, small feet, all that sort of thing. But... Look at the beauty and the grace. It's like oh. a ballerina. <laughs> Ugh. It's the so other nasty. idea is, have you noticed that if you bend the foot like this, you essentially uh. get something much more akin to a hand. And if you put two of those together... I mean... I understood the whole thing that they should not be able to walk and that will put them on like upper class and stuff. But Jesus, the torture. Well, you could imagine what might happen if the emperor happened to be into feet. Is this you sort of... Do you understand? I, I'm completely lost, but I'm entranced. It's about 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night, whatever. He's had a couple drinks. Yeah. The emperor comes in. He loves feet. Oh, uh, shit, Quady. Four. You're saying the emperor would have a foot fetish? Yeah, it's a hand. Dude, oh. dude, dude look down there. That looks like Patrick's dar. <laughs> it does. It look does. Like <laughs> He, oh, SpongeBob! <laughs> How they do this? To me? I can't do a Patrick impression. Apparently, SpongeBob! You're gonna be late for your job at the Spon- Krabby Patty. Come on, SpongeBob! I'm gonna be late for the Emperor to fuck my face. Or <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to print a steak. Yeah. No, well, they're already yeah, doing that. They're trying coming. to make, like, lab-grown meat. Yeah. But they're like, look, we're almost there. The only problem is every time someone tastes it, they go, <clears throat> yuck! I'd rather kill myself! Get me out of this facility! I didn't consent to this! It's funny, when you look at all these food shortages, <laughs> Yeah. there's always yeah, one always section vegan food. that doesn't have any shortages. <laughs> and it's I mean, vegan, vegan food ain't that bad. Shit down here. <laughs> it's true. It reminds Coming me of that like, morning television show where mm. the lady brought her dog on and she was like, trust me, she's vegan. And then they brought out, they're like, let's put it to the test. <laughs> and they put out like a bowl of that, meat that doesn't work. and a bowl of like vegetables. Yeesh. And the dog just like <laughs> yanked the chain and immediately just started eating the, the meat like it <laughs> never seen it before. <laughs> quick, quick anecdote. This little creature sitting right here is a huge fan of um, like... Um, vegetarian mints but i only say that because occasionally i would uh, not eat meat just take a vegan substitute but this guy likes it but if you were to place a well like a raw tuna and then some mince meat that is vegan of course he's gonna take the, the tuna right you like the tuna don't you he's too 
took it out. <laughs> yeah. Is there any bigger condemnation of your product than people would rather die than eat it? <laughs> Food shortages. Food shortages. Who's leaving the one bread? Who's leaving the one bread? Is that, okay, there's something wrong with this. Or No, that's what I want to ask you, right? You're in the store, right. everything's Prejudice. gone. Oh my god. All right, you need to eat. You walk up to the bread aisle, you glance side to side, there it is. There's that one bread right there, see that? Why is it left there? There's probably nothing wrong with it, right? <laughs> you gonna grab that bread? Everybody's got the exact same bias. Yes. yes. What's wrong with this one piece? There's probably nothing wrong with that bread. It'll probably, it'll probably get you through the uh, the night, because you are hungry. What could have possibly happened to it? Nothing. What could have happened to that bread? <laughs> yeah, I think I would grab it, but then what I would do is probably like skin the whole bread, and then I would only eat whatever's on the center skin of it. The skin bread. the whole bread? Yeah, you know, get rid of all the crusty bit on the outside. Nobody says skin the bread. You uncrust it. Who says skinning bread? We call that removing the crust. You absolutely... Is there something wrong no, with it? Pretty much the whole world says skinning bread. No. Except for Americans who are like... Uh, I'll have a drink of pop, please. I've got something for you on pop. Yeah. It's no longer just good enough to have regular soda pop, okay? It's got to have, like, a twist. I'm not sure who started this. Maybe it was Coke mm. with, like, vanilla Coke or Crystal Pepsi, whichever one came first. Yeah. And, you know, even milk's getting into this with chocolate <laughs> milk now. Can you believe this? Well, it's, it's called Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. They're putting colors like in our... through Pepsi. You know, yeah. soft they were like, take out the, the additive gay. that makes that artificial coloring. And just give it to them what it actually is. And people said, no, no, that's what it is. I'm not drinking that. Put back the carcinogenic coloring. Do you reckon that Pepsi is naturally colored? Do I reckon? I've never thought All they about did it. was take out the food coloring. That's what it is. Oh, it's got one less ingredient. Yeah. Give me a discount. Then. It just proves how unnatural it is. I still drink it, though. I mm -hmm. figured they basically did this. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this was somewhere on your mind and it somehow related to Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, mate. Naturally, it's all brown because it's just brown and water. And then you pour it in the oyster tank and they filter it out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You're telling me you thought... I'm not telling you that that's what I thought. I'm telling you that's... That's what it is. <laughs> You know, sometimes when people talk about, like, dissolving a dead body and flushing it down the toilet, I reckon that would be really difficult to do. Define difficult. So one time what I clogged the toilet. Oh, we've got to go backwards more. So I with, really, No, I really need... No, no, no. Yeah, give, me the, give me the groundwork. I see where you're heading. <laughs> okay, this okay. one time I was living in this really shitty apartment and I didn't have a clothes washer. And so I had to go all the way to a laundromat. Now, at one point I ran out of towels and I thought... Well, I still need to shower. So instead, I took with me into the bathroom a whole roll of handy paper towels. Now, when I got out of the shower, I dried myself with all these paper towels. And it worked a treat. And I thought, I am a genius. Yeah. And then what I proceeded to do was throw those paper towels into the toilet, <laughs> which was not as ingenious of a move. Well, you win some, you lose some, okay? Not everybody <laughs> be on all the time. <laughs> so what happened was the toilet was thoroughly clogged. And I thought, oh, you know, it'll pass. It'll, it'll, no. it'll, it'll decompose over time. It's for about a week. That it'll decompose. <laughs> Get a <laughs> plunger or something. The toilet was, like, completely clogged. Oh. So then you got a plunger, right? Or you just stamped it down with your foot or just anything other than whatever you're probably going to tell me next? I tried all sorts of things. So at first I was like, oh... I'll just put some cat litter down. I had a cat. I'll put some cat litter down. That'll help. Just what the fuck? Push That's it, right? You're not sounding like you know much about toilets. <laughs> no, because the cat litter will dissolve. So worst <laughs> case scenario, works. you're fine. Now, now that didn't. <laughs> how will that help? That though? didn't. Well, well no, it it didn't help. It him, just comes so, like, up. Uh, toilet, uh, cat poop, uh, litter. Uh, put it in. I tried a plunger. That did not work. I tried boiling hot water. Poured down the toilet. That also did not work. And so, so he eventually, brought acid. I thought, okay. So basically, it was a psychotic break. I thought, I can call a plumber, and I've got no idea when they'll come out. I don't know how much I'll pay them, and I can't be bothered. And this cat litter's right here. Yes. <laughs> I will go the nuclear option, <laughs> and I will go and buy a bottle of sulfuric acid that's used for melting and smoothing concrete. I think that everybody that has been in Mike Spain have tried that trick. Uh, and instead pour that down the toilet. It's incredible if you buy one of these things because like, you open the cap and you can feel the acidity of the thing. Like if you start pouring it out, really? you will actually feel the hairs in your nostrils react to it. Oh. It's incredibly corrosive, yeah. incredibly dangerous. So bring that into your house. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that didn't unclog the toilet at all. And instead... <laughs> okay, that's what I was waiting for. A, mm -hmm. a little bit got on the toilet seat and left a permanent mark. And so are we going to get like a moral to the story or... 
You promised me we were just going to be sticking to talking about the future. Journalism. I'm tired of having my methods questioned. I want to question you. Okay. Let's do some Q&A with John Tron. <laughs> Hardballs, question time, truth, and facts. Yeah. Okay. Is that Jordan Peterson? Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, no. I'm not asking the question. So you're right. saying... I heard that you have a wife. Is that true? Yes. Do you care to comment? Um, that's true. That's true, yeah. How traditional of you. How, it, a, yeah. a conservative, someone might say. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I couldn't help but notice that your middle name is Aryan. Is that... Oh, <laughs> you know what's crazy? That is so based. Some some years back, um, while following John Tron, as well as uh, a lot of the things that were happening politically on uh, on YouTube, I came across a debate that he had with uh, Destiny. Now, uh, this is one of the few cases where I really do not agree with some of his points. But, I mean, don't hold anything against the guy. But um, there was a whole talk about this very Aryan thing, uh, the traditional cultures and all that stuff. And it's kind of funny because, like, obviously, it's not because of the Aryan name itself. It's because it's like, uh, what is it? Indo Assyrian? Uh, wow, what, what was he? Indo Assyrian, I think, Persian or something like that. That that's that's basically the etymology of where the people with such name will come from. I I ran. So yeah, you keep it you keep it to that. So that that was kind of like one of the things that made that that one conversation kind of uh, funny because you you read through the chat because the chat is always foolishness in the political debates. So you read through that and people are pointing out, but aren't your name literally Aryan? And you're making these points, and I'm like, no, that, that that's not like that. Going to your pure white heritage. <laughs> you're fucking with Of me, course right? you went with that. This isn't a real thing. <laughs> you're such a bastard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really my middle name. Got him. And it is a Persian name. It's mm. pronounced Ariane. Persian. You see, the Indo-Aryans, oh, the yeah. Yamnaya people. Uh, Yam is that made up? No. <laughs> yum -nye. Okay, so the, the yum -nye. Yum -nye people. Not yum -nye. <laughs> That's them. And the ones who went west became the Europeans. And the ones who went east became the Persians. Iran actually means land of the Aryans, but it's not oh meant... Oh, my God. It's, yeah, I know, I know. You can't make <laughs> oh, it up. Oh, it's just going from bad to worse. It what derives you... from, like, the 3rd century Sasanian Middle Persian Iran. Are you reading the Wikipedia? I am now. Uh, but <laughs> I wasn't before. Uh, anyways. I wasn't really Get listening to geologic. I'll, I'll just shortcut and say racism. Um. <laughs> yeah. you, you proud of yourself? <laughs> you proud of yourself? You smiling ear to ear? Listen, listen. I'll I fucking feel, dox I'm, you right I'm now. I'm here to give the fair interview. Just it's to, perfect. Oh, that's what this is? This is the interview? <laughs> it's perfect. It's so perfect, this whole kick they have going on here. Oh my God. Balance interview. Look, there's no need to be so aggressive, John. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even ask me my favorite like food dish or anything. What kind of interview is this? What is your favorite food dish? The crayon green. I like the way it looks. I heard yeah. that you're dead. <laughs> what? You promised you wouldn't go down this route. Okay, we had a chat before. It was the one question. That you, was it minutes. was the one you knew. And don't tell me you forgot. Are we still in the interview? Have I walked out of the studio yet? Let me ask you this. Yes. Can you grow a full beard, or is this part wow. of the, wow. the John Tron character? <laughs> wow, that's all I've fucking got. That's all I've got, I-H. Am I not allowed it's to difficult, ask you about though. the beard? I just feel attacked. All right, I won't ask you about the beard then. What's the worst question you get during interview? This one. This one. <laughs> You've scored number one. <laughs> all right, let me ask you then. Where do you get the inspiration for your videos? You know what? <laughs> I... You know what? Where do I get the inspiration? Man, I'm not like, fuck you, I'm ready. Are, are you putting these interview bits in? All right, well, thanks for coming to the Channel 4 interview. I hope that was perfectly balanced and fair. Channel 4, that's all I get? Well, the other three were busy. <laughs> that's the end of the video. Uh, we also have another collaboration coming out in a few weeks on John Tron's channel. Oh also, I have another channel called Story Mode. It's a different type of content. You might like it. 
Yeah. It ain't that different from the rest of the things I do. I've only got one idea. And do not forget about Tab for Recalls. Nice. It's got three channels going on. Oh, weapons. Oh, we're going to check that later. But guys, that was Future with the Internet Historian featuring John Tron. A pretty fun one. Uh, I, I love the, the historical tidbits there. And <laughs> the play that he had with the Pepsi. That was pretty good. And my God, how can you clog a toilet like that and decide to buy acid? That's extreme. Like, I, I, I'll admit it. I'll totally admit it. I'll go to a kitchen or if I don't have any gloves, I'll go buy some and then take them out and put the damn paper in the trash. That's the obvious choice. But anyways, guys, <laughs> thanks you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit that like and also subscribe button. Of course, if you're not subscribed to Incognito Mode yet and or John Tron, go and subscribe to those channels. That said, wish you also have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Your feet right from you.